So we're almost done. But um, in order to make uh, notebooks, the notebook experience complete, it would be nice to do some plotting. And plotting is also the next part of the course. So we're going to use all we know about these, this data set in order to do some interesting plots. I mean, plots are always as interesting as the underlying data. The underlying data here are not all that interesting, but it will give you an idea about how to plot. Um, and so uh, for this part, you don't have to do much, too, too much thinking. Um, just follow the instructions. First of all, we're going to have, uh, we already have a vector y, which contains the sodium values, which we actually never executed, the, uh, assigned the vector of the calories to x. So you should know um, that this works like this, hot dogs, dollar calories, and um, that assigns all the calories, calorie values to x. And now um, we have x as hot dogs calories and we already earlier defined y to contain the sodium values and we can simply plot both of these um, as x and y. So plot x against y or y against x. That's the result. <clears throat> In this case, um, you know, it would be nicer to uh, actually attach labels to it so we're knowing what's going on, but we're going to do that um, in the next um, in the next section. So if you want to find out how the distribution of these hot dogs, you know, every single one of these is a hot dog with a particular um, X um, calorie and Y sodium value. So all these pairs are plotted here, but we want to know, well, what's the distribution uh, with regard to type? Because we have this third dimension. But we, want to, we don't want to create three-dimensional plots. Those are really hard to read. So um, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, type and put it in another object. It's the same thing we've done twice now. So we have hot dogs, dollar type. The only reason really, again, is to not have to um, keep typing hot dogs, dollar type, but be able to um, use the variables x, y, and z, the objects x, y, and z, which contain the calories, the sodium, and the type, respectively. Now, um, if you were to, were to try and plot uh, the third dimension um, using some other attribute, for example, color, and st stick to the data frame as it is now, you would get an error because the uh, character value, which is type, type is a character value right now, uh, I will not be able to know how to put it, how to align it uh, with the, as, as part of the plotting function. So what you need to do is you need to turn it into a proper categorical variable because what plot knows how to do is plot variables. So in order to do that, you turn Z into a factor. And to do that, you simply override it with a factor version of itself. That's just, you know, just for, for memory, because that's a few videos ago, look at um, hot dogs. Um, how the structure looks like. Yeah? So we have type, which is a character value. We have calories and sodium, which are integers. And we, what we want to do now is we want to override Z, our third variable, with a factor of itself. That's how it looks like. And there'll be no particular answer. Um, but what we could do again is to check, well, does this change the structure of the data set? And you bet it did. No, not the structure of the original data set. So let's have a look at, um, at Z itself because hot dogs will not be covered by that. And you can see that Z now is a factor with three levels, beef, meat, and pork, I believe, or maybe chicken, I can't remember. So now we're going to do the same thing we did before, namely use the plot function, but uh, we're going to use the um, uh, color attribute to bring the factor variable into the picture. So we type plot x, y, um, and color comes from z. And by the way, we didn't have to do this redefinition. We could also um, have done something else. I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, but let's first of all see how the result looks like. And it's very nice. You can see now that um, 
the color was automatically chosen. So um, R distinguishes three colors, in this case, black, green, and red, because those are easily visible. And in fact, I think that they are um, also bar barrier free. So for colorblind people, uh, they could actually see this, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And uh, another command, of course, which we could have chosen, we could also have done, if you look at the original vector, we could have done factor of hot dogs dollar type. Uh, hot dogs dollar type is a, a character variable, but we can use the factor inside. It gives the same result. Yeah, but for the time being, since we already redefined that, let's just stick with this. Um, and that's it. We've done uh, most of what I wanted to do. So we have uploaded the files uh, to a notebook. We have found them in our workspace. We have turned them into data frames. We have extracted values from the data frame. And at the end, we even have created a three-dimensional plot in two dimensions.